Hey, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I will show you a little bit about the fonts library, what is inside, and then I will do a fast tutorial how to use it and how to squeeze and what is the potential of this library. So first thing first, I want to show you our preview how to use it inside the Blender, but don't worry, PNG files are rendered so you can use them straight away in any tool without using Blender. Okay, so first of all, we have Blender add-on where you write the text, then you generate the text and you will choose the font inside and you can play with it you can customize it and you can just change the colors change the rotation scale it and play more and you have different options what you can do uh, there are eight fonts upper cases lower cases special characters and numbers are included of every single font right so this is what you can do and how you can easily use it inside the blender okay so let's jump to what is inside I just downloaded the fonts free version so inside is PNG files source files this is the blender add-on license the license is pretty standard for any other 3d library basically you can use it for commercial and personal use but you can't resell the source files or PNG files or JPEGs or whatever files just to go on the some marketplace and put it there and just to resell it it or put it on a t-shirt and resell it this is not allowed for standard license if you want something extra please reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design and we can discuss tutorials if you are new to blender we created a couple of easy to follow three five minutes tutorials and in 30 minutes you can get pretty skilled and you can squeeze blender because you don't need to learn the whole blender you just need to learn few functions okay let's jump to png files as you can see we have rendered eight different 3d fonts every font includes isolated letters so as you can see i have the numbers here i have upper cases lower cases i have some special characters and this is consists of every font so let's jump to rock for example the same thing rock one the same thing neon the same 3d2 the same thing right so you can just grab them and use in powerpoint figma illustrator photoshop or any other tool let's jump to the source files like basically this is the every source file includes of the preview this is how it looks like basically it's rendered the whole alphabet and then the source files, the blender file. As you can see inside, like you have the whole alphabet inside. So you can play with that, you can combine and whatever. I encourage you to use the plugin we created. It's totally free and it's much more easier to use the fonts. Let's jump to our lovely Blender add-on. Okay, I just opened the Blender and now I want to install the add-on. I need to go to Edit, then to Preferences, and here in Add-ons, I need to click on Install and find where is the Blender add-on located. I need to use the zip file. Okay, I just located the, the font and now I see that fonts Blender add-on. So this is what I need to click on and just install add-on. Now it's installing, I need to turn it on. And now in here, the little arrow, I just need to find the fonts right this is where it is located okay if i turn it off it's not there if i turn it on it's back so now how it is working basically it's divided into two parts firstly you need to generate the text then you can do the adjustments and like spacing alignment and so on i want to generate 3d text i will use the let's say the fluffy one this is the fluffy one thing about the blender unfortunately they don't allow us to click on the font so you need to choose fonts from the drop down and but here is the preview so basically you see how the font will look like and you can just use it here okay so let's click on generate now 3d was generated pretty smooth and pretty fast and now i can adjust the font i can play with the spacing and so on okay so first i'm going to to play with the spacing and then i'm going to align to enable the alignment i need to have the active object because how it is working is that take this object and it will align based on this so i need to have one object active and then select all others now i'm just clicking the z or you can just play and you can align on the maximum point the minimum point pivot or the center point right so for me it works also i want to align in y axis i will put little low here just to be sure that it's it's aligned Okay, so this is a 3D. If I want to combine the uh, if I want to combine the fonts, it's pretty easy. I want to use, for example, Fluffy 2. So I will have the Fluffy 2 selected. It will be this one, and I need to generate again. It will create the collection. As you can see, this is 3D fonts, and now I can just take them again, play with the spacing and align. Okay, so this is what I have so i have 3d fonts if you want to combine with other fonts for example neon 3d and so on you can do it easily so let's now put some colors if you want to change the colors it's pretty easy again like i click on the 
in the object mode i click on the alphabet then need to go to material properties and then i can change like the base color color ramp i can change it so i can play and if i want to change like this one again i can i can easily do it right okay so i change the color okay now i will play with lights and also we created a tutorial for the lights specifically so you can go and check out in our channel to learn more how to use that i'm just going to add the hdr texture okay now i will just turn transparent on put the cycles and i have pretty funny font create so you can use it for your branding or for clients it's pretty simple just to use the, the font and now you can just render it from this side or from this side and so on and so forth use it in the apps website design okay that was it if you want to learn more about fonts go to fonts.design if you want to learn more about our 3d libraries go to 3d.design i encourage you to try different 3d libraries because they work pretty nicely together if you have any question reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design have a great day stay creative bye